Say, man, the social distancing from Lil Dirk has already begun as a mayor of Broadview, Katrina Thompson, takes back her key to her city that she just handed Lil Dirk last week. Let's get to the content. Grammy winner Lil Durk is being held behind bars in South Florida, charged in a murder for hire plot back in 2022. The FBI says he was arrested while trying to flee the country. Investigators believe Lil Durk put out a hit on another rapper, Quando Rondo, in retaliation for the earlier murder of Chicago rapper King Von. Rondo's cousin also died in a shooting at a Los Angeles gas station caught on camera. Several of Lil Durk's associates have also been arrested in connection with this same plot. Last week, Lil Durk was celebrated by two West suburban mayors. They even gave the rapper keys to their villages and partnered with his foundation. Now, after his arrest, one of those mayors is backtracking. Our Charlie DeMar has the story from Bellwood. The mayor here in Bellwood says he won't take back the key to his village until the legal process plays itself out. Meanwhile, in Broadview, the mayor there wasting no time and has already withdrawn the key to her community. Dirk Banks, or Lil Dirk, was honored and celebrated last week with keys to the villages of Bellwood and Broadview. And so on behalf of the village of Broadview, we are honored to present this key to the city to Dirk Banks neighborhood heroes. Both mayors were on hand for the ceremony and took time to pose for pictures. A partnership with the Rappers Foundation was announced in front of students from both communities. It, this is a momentous occasion to have Lil Dirk with us in our communities. We, we want to give another round of applause. But the symbolic gesture was met with backlash even before news of Lil Durk's latest arrest on murder for hire charges. So are we glorifying that or are we saying that that's okay? He's not even from this, he's from the south side. Broadview Mayor Katrina Thompson defended her decision to give Lil Durk the key to the village at a board meeting earlier this week. I am a mayor and I'm proud to have made that connection. It just doesn't send the best message to our residents, to our community. Angela Patterson is running for mayor in Broadview. Janelle Moreland is the current village clerk in Bellwood and a mayoral candidate. You know, so what about the people that have been active in our communities, that have done, done some great things in our communities? After Lil Dirk was arrested in Florida, Broadview's mayor withdrew the honor, saying in part, as mayor, protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is job number one. I do think it's too late. I think we should have not given him the key from the very beginning. Bellwood's mayor says he was surprised to learn of Lil Dirk's arrest, but is not ready to take away the key, saying we live in the United States of America, where the accused is innocent until proven guilty. You think Mayor Harvey should have taken the key back? Absolutely. Absolutely. At least it would show my concern for my community, right? Um, at least it would show, like, I don't condone this. Both suburban mayors declined an on-camera interview. Reporting in Bellwood, Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Chicago. Lil Dirk donated $150,000 to Mayor Brandon Johnson's campaign, and when the mayor was asked if he would return the money, this is what he said. What will you, mayor, what will you do with the money? Well, as, as I said, um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. So, you know, as you see there, the, the actual mayor of the city of Chicago, Brandon Johnson, you know, when he was asked about, you know, the 150K that uh, Dirk donated to his donation, he was like, oh, ho, ho, hold on now. Hold on, goddamn! Wait, wait, wait a minute. We gotta, you know, we, we gotta wait till the smoke clear and and see what happened. You dig what I'm saying? You know, as the charges just been filed and you know he's innocent until proven guilty. I ain't busting no moves about no money and I ain't talking about no money he gave me. You dig what I'm saying? But you you see the chipping away at Dirk's legacy already beginning, bro. As these allegations just hit the news. And it's going crazy and spreading like wildfire, man. But, you know, uh, Dirt was just celebrated last week in two suburban neighborhoods or two suburban villages outside of Chicago, Bellwood and Broadview. And one of those mayors of, of those cities or villages in, uh, outside of Chicago, uh, Katrina Thompson, she, she withdrawing her key that she gave to Dirt just last week just simply on the allegations because she said, you know, it's, it's, it's about, you know, how it looks. And what does that say that, you know, we we support somebody that has these type of allegations going on, even though they're allegations. 
and you hear, uh, you know, a, a, another lady that's running for a uh, Broadview mayor, she was saying, you know, we got people in the community that's doing real work and they not getting acknowledged. And, you know, Lil Dirk is not even from Broadview and we shouldn't have never celebrated him and gave him the keys to our town in the first place. You dig what I'm saying? So you you already see, you know, a little bit of backlash even from, you know, from his own city. You dig what I'm saying? And, 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 and as time go on and if uh, the feds are able to uh, link Lil Dirk to uh, the alleged allegations that's going on with, with the murder of Lil Pop out in LA, if, if they pin him down and, and, and make that connection that Lil Dirk was involved in any of these allegations, it's going to, it's going to be more and more clearer that a lot of people going to start backing away. You see it every time, man. And, 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 it, and, and, and it's just, it's sad, brother, be celebrated one week and then died at the next. You dig what I'm saying? But that's the reality of the situation. We've seen the same thing with Diddy. Diddy was riding around the streets of, 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 of New York City, hanging all out of the window. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Mayor Adams gave him the keys to the city, and he was celebrated one, one, one week, and you look around again, and he's in that same city under different circumstances, you know, being indicted in a RICO case and everything else that ensued after that. So, it's just, it's just everything is happening so fast now with the rise and fall of, of you know, celebrities from our community. And we just seeing it in, we seeing it play out in real time, man. You dig what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just a sad thing to see that you work your entire life to get to where you at, to have bad decisions that's, that, that was avoidable. To, to to be the demise of of not only your career but could be the demise of 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 the individual they self you dig what I'm saying so it's just it's just a it's just a all around bad situation bro and I hate this for dirt but we all grown men and we all make choices sometimes we make the right choice sometimes we make the bad choice and sometimes we can be caught in a situation where we allow ourselves to be influenced by people around us or the internet. The internet is oftentimes the main culprit in situations, especially like the one Dirt found himself in, because he could have stayed far away from this and, and let this play out. You dig what I'm saying? It's real niggas everywhere, bro. And if they felt some kind of way about what happened to King Vaughn, that was up to anybody to to take matters into their own hand. Not saying it's right, but that's how it go down sometimes. Sometimes a nigga ain't even got to push a button and say nothing about go take care of nothing. It's just niggas feel strongly about a situation and they'll do it from the scrimp. You dig what I'm saying? But unfortunately, you know, um, it's, 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 it's beginning to happen already, starting from from where where Lil Durk is from. People already distancing the distancing distancing they, they self from the situation. And sadly, it's it's gonna be more of this. The more it it, it began to get clearer and clearer that Dirk was involved, if he was involved, right now it's just alleged, but the more clearer it get that he was involved, the more people just gonna kind of fade away, bro. You dig what I'm saying? So that's the latest from Chicago in terms of, you know, how how uh, the aftermath of this is already shaking up in, in Chicago. And we'll see what happened in the days and weeks to come. And uh, I just it, it's just a bad situation, bro. You dig what I'm saying? To see this over and over and over again for some of the from some of the celebrities from our community that we that we be happy for. You dig what I'm saying? As a fan, as a real nigga, you see people make it out and you just happy for them. Just organically and genuinely happy for them, brother. They beat the streets. And then it looked like, you know, the streets just always got a way, bro, of pulling you back in if you allow it. But that's why you got to have the right people around you, bro. You got to. And that's why everybody can't go.
because sometimes when you're trying to take everybody with you to that next level, they bring in things that you're trying to get away from, but you're carrying it with you. It's called baggage, bro. You dig what I'm saying? And we got to make better decisions. We got to be real focused, laser focused on who we got around us and who we choose to take with us. I'll get at y'all on the next one, bro. Y'all be smooth. I'm out.